Hey guys, this is Kiato here and today we are doing a figurine unboxing video. Uh, today we're checking out the Shokuho Misaki 17 scale figure. Uh, it's called Drawing Live which is a little confusing to me because I don't understand what they mean by drawing when she is drinking tea. But um, yeah, this figure I got from Ami Ami for like 80 or 9800 yen which is equivalent to like $60 in USD. So pretty cheap or at least in my eyes anyways for a figure of this uh, caliber but uh yeah today just wanted to finally unbox this because I'm going to display it somewhere in my household and uh you know Shokuho is one of my favorite characters one of my fe favorite female characters uh definitely my most favorite in the scientific or certain side uh, blah, certain sci scientific man that is such a tongue tongue twister okay so my favorite character from uh, certain magical index slash certain scientific railgun I'm just literally combining those two uh, names up but uh yeah she is my uh, favorite character so far uh, I know people will like uh, the other Mikasa or Misaka man I always get those names mixed up too but uh yeah, we are going to check this out today, and uh, honestly, pretty excited because uh, I haven't really done an unboxing video in uh, some time now, and uh, I don't know, I think it's just easy to have the display, which, oh, there we go, so you got this right now, and uh, man, Always with the packaging box. Yeah, this was from Ami Ami for like a reasonable price because I think it was normally supposed to be around like $150. My god, that was a struggle of itself for all this packaging. But of course we got the main character right here. Which pretty nice detail, actually. Love her eyes, her uh, star eyes right here. And her flat butt funny enough to say but uh yeah we're going to put this figure down we're going to have her relax on this uncomfortable chair from what it looks like i don't know how i feel about this chair in real life if i ever saw that but we'll just have her sit right here on the side for now and of course the little table which has a teacup in her purse as you can see so uh, just gonna move it around like this and don't know it's supposed to be like this something like man I guess voila that is practically the figure right there all right so that's pretty much the set of the figure and I'm pretty sure I am reading this instruction correctly god why is there even an instruction of this this is kind of hilarious Oh, and just in case, if you have a hard time reading in uh, English, you could read it in Japanese too of how to properly display the figure, which I think I did it correctly. Like, what are you guys saying? Like, give me a rating from 1 to 10. Like, how well did I do? Yeah, overall, I mean, it is a standard figure, no base or anything. You just have her, you know, outdoor accessories, her purse, table, chair, and of course, I think that, uh, I mean, the only downside to this figure, I would say, is the fact that the table is very unstable, so... Not not joking, if I just, like, tap this a little, like, you can see how, like, the table, like, could automatically just fall over. So, if I'm being pretty critical here, I would enjoy the figure a lot more if she didn't have her hand grabbing over the teacup. Maybe some different pose where, you know, you wouldn't need the table in the first place, like, she could just sit down like re with a remote control or hi her iconic remote control or you know something along the line because man this table like is just straight up in the way it, just give her a little remote control right here and bam there's a figure but besides you know the table and such I think the design of the character for how it's you know painted and everything is very well detailed I mean as I showed again here is her face close up her legs, the shoes, everything is very well designed and painted well. Like even her hair, as you get like a little darker parts and the lighter parts right here. Uh, but and also her bust, amazing. 
But uh, yeah, for the figure itself, very well designed. Uh, for the accessories and stuff, yeah. Um, paid about sixty dollars in USD, so it's not that bad. Uh, <laughs> it's not that bad of a price uh, paying for this figure. I only bought it just because I want. You know, I love the character. I love Shokuho a lot, and I just included it in my Ami Ami order. So uh, you know, it's a pretty good deal right there. All right, so I had to whip out the old Rotane display base right here, but. Yeah, I mean, overall, I do like the figure a lot. I feel like you could practically place this anywhere without restricting any, you know, space in your household. I mean, because you could just have her sit right there uh, in a shelf or something along the line. But, you know, for the price I paid for, as I mentioned previously, I mean, I like it a lot. And just because I got a really good deal out of it. But if you guys are interested in other figures, uh, as I mentioned before, Ami Ami... I think they're just slowly getting rid of their stock because I also bought another figure that I'm not showing off yet, but it is arriving. And I got it for like half the price too, so I actually can't wait to show you guys that because it is another character I like. But uh, you know, I love Shokuho a lot. She is my favorite female characters, or you know, top five female characters and my favorite in the certain scientific railgun or magical index series. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that'll pretty much wrap things up for my thoughts and feelings and just this unboxing of this figure. And if you guys do think, or if you guys are thinking about getting this figure, um, as I mentioned, just get it when it's on the deal. Uh, because $150 is definitely not worth it, or whatever the original price was, that's not on sale. But, you know, for the deal that I paid for, if you guys could snag it for $60 in USD, Definitely recommend it. I mean, if you guys like the character or just want, um, yeah, if you guys just like the character, I wouldn't recommend it if you guys were trying to look for like a cool uh, figurine. But, anyways, it has been uh, pretty much it for my unboxing and review of this. And if you guys find, find it informative or, you know, want to criticize me any other way, leave a comment below. And if you guys can, like and subscribe. I will be doing more unboxings and reviews later in this channel. So anyways, this has been your boy Kiato signing off and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves, you guys.